In northern Benin, humans revere dogs for their loyalty and bravery. But here, dogs also figure in an unusual ritual. Every four years, the Besaribi people initiate boys into manhood. The process, a series of ceremonies including circumcision, hinges on a sacrifice. To honor their ancestors and bolster their son's courage, the Besaribi kill and eat a dog. This year, Enda Atien will lead the ritual. The Besaribi love dogs, especially <laughs> dogs with brave hearts and loyal spirits, the very qualities people here hope to absorb when they eat the animals. The soothsayer asks you to kill a dog so that the boy won't run away in fear during the circumcision. We don't give names to the other animals, but we give a name to the dog because he is our companion. This dog has a name, Patience. For four years, Patience has had a good life with his owner, Seiko. But Seiko has always awaited the day of reckoning. I follow the tradition. What our ancestors did is what I do. When we bought Patience, we knew that we would kill him for the fetish. Beneath the spreading baobab tree stands the symbol of ancestral spirit, the fetish. Before villagers can eat their share of dog, they must feed the spirit with sacrifices. Atien's father will begin the ceremony. He appeases the spirit with millet beer and chicken blood. The bird died quickly. But patience must live up to his name. Ritual requires he be killed with a club. In some sacrifices, suffering is what makes it holy. Many in the village know and like patience. They'll miss him. I'm sad to kill the dog, but it is my ancestors who started the tradition. <laughs> offers the dog's blood to the spirits. Out of respect, he leaves a piece of the tail. Boys awaiting circumcision dance, readying themselves to eat the magic meat they believe will awaken the spirits of their ancestors. Before an audience of village elders, Etienne follows the preparation ritual. To the spirit, Etienne offers roasted meat. The rest he boils. Everyone in the village will want a taste of the sacrificial meal. When you eat the dog, you get good health. So everyone wants to take a little bit. Once the elders have eaten, younger villagers take their turn. They hope the dog's meat will give them the courage to endure circumcision. And now that the initiation rite has begun, the village's dogs can rest easy, at least for another four years, when the next ritual occurs.